the first thing that we're going to do is to find where all of the functions for the general ledger and all other areas of Oracle reside, in fact. And it's right here. So if you click on this hamburger button, this is actually called a hamburger button, or the navigator button, that's fine too, you will see a list of everything that you have, all the responsibilities and areas that you have access to in your Oracle system. Now, obviously your list is going to look a little bit different or perhaps vastly different from mine. Casey Brown's got access to all different areas of the organization as mentioned. And so what we're going to do actually is simply go down to the general accounting area, right? The nice thing about this version of Oracle is that it's very organized in that it gives you three main, it doesn't try to inundate you with stuff. It gives you three main areas in which you would need to do stuff. Okay, so the first one is called the general accounting dashboard. And that's basically the place where you would be looking and monitoring all the things that you had previously done in the GL, right? So monitoring account balances, perhaps journals as they go through the system or reporting, all of these types of things. And then we've got a second area here called journals. And this is actually where the operations happens. So you, if you need to create journals or update them, then you can certainly go here to journals and do that. And then finally, we have the period close area in which, as the name suggests, you would find all things related to whatever you need to do in order to close the period. So let's take a look at what's inside the general accounting dashboard. So this is our general accounting dashboard. Now let's just scroll through and see the various different sections of the dashboard that we can do. So first of all, we've got the account monitor, we've got intercompany transactions, we've got a journals section, and we've got a close status. 